Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Where are we going today, Chris? We're going to Chile. We're Chile. going to our eighth country. Third in South America. We're very, very excited. About 50 kilometers away from the border. Oh, it's um, really sunny. Yeah, it's hot. We're definitely going to need our sunglasses, that's for sure. <laughs> delicious South American desert fix. Here we are at the um, border control, Santa Rosa, at the border between Peru and Chile. Um, it took about two hours to bike here from Tacna, and we're just going to try and get 90 days on our Chilean visa so we can see all of Patagonia. <laughs> to Antofagasta, we might turn off at Iquique, San Pedro, who knows. We're like well and truly in the Atacama Desert now, however it isn't as flat as we imagined it to be. We climbed like 900 meters today, and it's very very hot, very windy. We, we made it up the big climb. Um, 16 kilometers overall, something like that. 900 meter climb in the middle of the desert. Oh, I hate when that happens. It's another scorching hot day in the desert. Yep. Just got water, just got we some stopped food. Stopped at a posada and got some water and food, which you just said, sorry. So, okay, so here's the thing about cycling in the desert. Yeah, it's really hot, of course. But when you're on the flat, or on a bit of downhill, you actually don't really notice the heat too much. The thermometer is reading like 30 degrees. Um, but I'm actually pretty cool, just in the wind. Um, it's when you're going uphill that you really notice how nasty it is. Um, and the Atacama Desert has quite a few uphills. So that's pretty nasty. But we're hoping to ride this next one in the shade this evening. But yeah, riding in the desert, not too bad as long as you have wind. Today we're in the National Reserve of the Tamo Bugal, something. And um, we've stuck to the Route 5, the Ruta Cinco. And um, we didn't head down to Iquique and do the coastal road to Antofagasta. Um, we decided to stay straight because we like sleeping up at this altitude. It's a lot cooler than at sea level, where we didn't sleep very well. More hot days, a lot more sunny days. We did fill up on water this morning, so we're carrying 12 litres now. We should safely see us through to the next big town, which is Quillagua, and it looks to be about 140 kilometres away to Quillagua. So that's our next destination. <laughs> 